Nikki Haley is focusing on her home state of South Carolina, despite more calls from top Republicans for her to drop out of the race. Rachel Scott is in Charleston. Good morning, Rachel. Hey, George, good morning. Well, this may be Nikki Haley's home state, but she is the underdog here. She'll have the campaign trail largely to herself over the next few days, and she will certainly need it. She's trailing Donald Trump by double digits as more and more Republicans rally behind him. Nikki Haley heading straight to her home state of South Carolina, resisting calls to drop out of the race. We are not going to sit there and just give up. We're going to sit there and we're going to fight because Americans deserve better than what they have in these two options. Haley is trying to rebound after two back-to-back -back losses in Iowa and New Hampshire, questioning Donald Trump's mental fitness. Get on a debate stage and let's go. <laughs> Bring it, Donald. Show me what you got. And calling out Trump's victory speech, where he unleashed on his former UN ambassador, calling her delusional and an imposter. He pitched a fit. He was he was insulting. I know that's what he does when he is threatened, and he should feel threatened, without a doubt. But overnight, Trump threatening any prospective donors to Haley on social media, saying anybody that makes a contribution will be permanently barred from the MAGA camp. Haley now campaigning in her own backyard. She was born and raised here, serving as a popular governor for two terms. But South Carolina has swung toward Trump. He's got the backing of a lot of people that uh, feel his, he's tough on immigration, on the economy. But I think Nikki brings more in the foreign policy area. Air Force veteran Jay Lombardo is supporting Haley, but concedes this is Trump's territory. Do you think that Donald Trump will be dominant here? Unfortunately, yes, but he brings, it, he just brings too much baggage with him. Jay says he will end up supporting the eventual Republican nominee, and President Biden now saying it's clear that will be Donald Trump, gearing up for a rematch. It's great to be home. Biden welcoming the endorsement of the powerful United Auto Workers Union, four months after traveling to Michigan to walk the picket line with striking workers. And while I stood in solidarity with you on the picket line, As, a, as your president said, I want to pick a line. Donald Trump went to a non-union shop and attacked you. The South Carolina primary is still a few weeks away. Trump does have the support of the state's governor, the Republican senators, most of the House members, and the RNC chairwoman who initially vowed to stay neutral during the Republican primary is now calling on Nikki Haley to drop out of the race, Robin. All right, Rachel, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.